Hi everyone, this is Linda, and in the Premiere Plus 2 Facebook page, I had posted that I was trying to do an encore in Create, and, and of course, I can't do it there, so I have to actually do it over in the main part of the software. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. And the encore design is this little area out here that's the heart, kind of looks kind of more like a diamond, and then this little starburst. So I'm going to hit Undo so I get back to just the basics. And this is what I want to put it around. So I'm going to go over to my regular Premiere Plus and I, I need to bring in two different motifs. So I'm going to go to the border tab. I'm going to do repeats of one. I'm going to select my first motif and I'm going to go to children's stitches and the starburst is number three. And I'm just going to leave the size just like it is. And I'm going to hit apply. I want to make sure nothing is selected. I'm going to now select second motif. So I'm going to go to select motif. And this time I'm going to go into heirloom stitches and I'm looking for the little heart. That's kind of solid. Not, um, I wanted it filled in, so I'm going to do OK. I'm going to hit apply. So they're kind of both together. So now I'm going to go home and I'm going to do select all. Or you can do a control A. It does the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go to encore and I want it still in a circle, and I want them all facing the same way. I want repeats of 26. I'm going to preview it, and I want them fairly close together. So I'm going to drag them in like this, and so now the starbursts are actually cut, touching at the bottom of the, the heart. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go home. I'm going to combine, combine all, and then color sort it so it's all one color, which is what I want. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to save it. So I happen to be working on a couple of these. So I'm just going to call this in Encore 2. And I'm going to save it. Yes, it already exists. And then I'm going to take and open up my Create. So I have Create and I already created this crosshatch. And I need to put those that Encore around here. So I'm going to go to the Home tab. And I'm going to click on Insert Embroidery. And I'm going to go find that one that I just created, which was Encore 2. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to do open and I'm going to kind of center it around this that other part here and if it wasn't almost exactly what I wanted I could actually take and change this out a little bit so let's say I wanted it to be a little bit more like that so I'm going to hit undo this one just happened to work perfect uh, maybe it's a little bit tight maybe I want to make it just a little bit bigger and then I kind of want to center it over the top of that again now I wanted to put a uh, satin border in here. So it kind of covered up these little loop-de-loops that are in here. So to do that, I'm going to just go to Quick Create. I've got satin line chosen. I have the shape of a circle here. Click on this, and I now have this circle, and I can just slide that right into place. If I needed to make it larger or smaller, I can drag the little boxes. And that's as simple as it is. Um, there are other ways to do it, but it was the best way I could come up with in order to do what I was trying to do.